Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers. How are you? Pal, pleasure to see you. Pleasure. Nice to see you, yeah. too. Talk about being at the center of this thing. Oh, your man. performance, your character, really well done. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah, no, you know, the, the the idea that we could actually come back and revisit Twin Peaks again was so unexpected um, and and such a pleasure. Uh, primarily just the relationship with David, going back to work with him, the day-to-day, -day, you know, working on the scenes together with David as director, me as actor. It was something that I missed, I hadn't done for a number of years, and when I got back to it, it was like, wow, this is really... This is really special. This is magic. The, the, the pleasures and the quirks, people got things they got from your character that have become household sayings yeah. and things. How much of that? I know you can't get too much, but how much of that could people can expect? There will be newness, groundbreaking. What can you yeah, tell us? Yeah, there'll be yeah, there'll be some there'll be some of that as well. You'll recognize some of the some of the old with the new here. So right, definitely, right. it's going to be there. Um, but it's they're new stories. You know, this is less a, less a nostalgic return sure. to Twin Peaks and more. Uh, journey taking off from where kind of around the same time where we left off right, right. so it's it's a new territory yeah. how satisfying the, the cliffhanger that everyone was left with how satisfying do you feel this is going to be for people to see what happened well this is thrilling you know when we left that uh, when we left dale um i as an actor was incredibly excited about the potential of that journey that was suddenly revealed and was never able to really go into that so and we have an opportunity now to sort of explore some of that so really thrilled what do you hope people are thinking, saying, feeling Monday morning after watching this Sunday? Well, I think they're going to be dazed and confused. A lot of people won't go to work. They won't be able to go to work, I don't think. Um, I, I hope that there is the same kind of excitement and joy and the, the, the conversations will, will run amok, particularly on, on social media. Uh, uh, this time around, so we'll see. We'll see Being what happens. Back in, in the fulcrum, in the middle of that yourself, as an actor with yeah. David, and, and you've been talking about it now for a few weeks after yeah. shooting this year. But what's it like being kind of at the center of pop culture again, as an actor? How much? Uh, it's interesting, you know. It's interesting. Yeah. It's when, when the spotlight turns on you. It's uh, you know, it's different. Um, it's uh, exciting, and it will turn away again, you know, to somebody else, but for the moment it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. But even your fellow actors, people are pointing to you and saying, well, he's the coolest, Kyle's the coolest oh, guy there is. He's nice. the show. He's I am the coolest, coolest. though. <laughs> 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 like well, there's a lot of fun. You know, it was a lot of fun to welcome a lot of the new cast members as well and to watch their relationship with David grow and flourish. And it was really fun to bring them into the world of Twin Peaks. I'm speaking of, of some of the other actors, Jim Belushi comes to mind, um, and just how we welcomed him into the fold and how he took to it like a duck to water. So. Well, lastly, I'm just thinking about this now. Originally, I, I remember I sent away from my FBI form, as a lot of probably young men did after seeing your character. As unreal <laughs> as that was, obviously. All right. But with everything going on right now in the world, right. it's nice to have kind of this kind of David Lynchian depiction of, of the well, FBI. Yeah, the world sort of caught up to the world of David Lynch, I yeah. think. The real world to the world of David Lynch, I think, at the moment. Um, you know, it's uh, he creates a world where everything is uh, a little unsettling, you know, and uh, what is the truth, and all these questions that we ask ourselves. And uh, so we're, uh, yeah, I think the world is ready for twin peaks can't wait thank uh, you thank you so much nice to talk with you. To you thank you how are you doing how's it going adam good to Wes, see you nice to see you see you so talk about being a part of this magical world well, when, when you find out you get to be a part of a David Lynch project, especially something as special as Twin Peaks, um, you got to pinch yourself a little bit. So being on set, getting to work with these guys, uh, you kind of want to freeze frame it and uh, hope it goes on forever. But uh, it, was, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And now sharing in this night and feeling the excitement, what's it like for you tonight as an actor to be here with this group? Anytime something like this happens, you want to just, you know, Thank, thank God for the blessings, and uh, you know I'm just really excited to be here. Some nice people, uh, great to work with, great to hang out with. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to be here. You can't tell me much, but in terms of the work you did, just kind of the feel of what you were doing, the tone, the scenes you did. Can you give us a little bit of? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a big part of it. There's a, a very small part, but. Um, uh, it, it, to me, what I took away was getting to watch how Mr. Lynch works. Yeah. It's something that you know, you've never really seen before. So, uh, uh, as just far as experience itself, you know, I, I've, I learned a whole lot, and um, just really thankful for the opportunity. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, thanks yeah. a lot. Looking forward. Yeah. Hi there. Sarah, Leslie Berger. Hi, Adam. what's your name? Adam. Adam. Nice to meet you. You're good looking. Well, thank you. You're as welcome. are you. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Being part of this this Twin Peaks world, what was that like for you as a as an actor? Oh my gosh. It, 
this was the biggest thrill. I was thrilled and honored to work on Twin Peaks and be part of the Twin Peaks family. This is amazing. There's such a global sensation. I mean, the fans, they love it. And I was able to be a part of it and work with Mr. David Lynch. Well, you're forever part of that. You're forever a, a Twin Peaks woman. <laughs> Twin Peaks woman, are you flirting with me? That's what I call the pretty girls. Oh, I like that. Hey. Um, it, you know what? I've been in the TV and film industry for several years. Yeah. I'm as an actress and a stand up comedian, Leslie Berger. Um, but I've never worked on the, anything like this. Yeah. And <laughs> let me say, David Lynch is an actor's dream to work with. I can't wait to see what you do in this. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, have fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. Heather? Yeah. We want to. He loves the water. We're in love. Hey there. Hi, how Adam, are you? Adam, pleasure to see you. Good to see you. You made the show for me, to be honest. Oh, thank you. For me, you were Twin you. Peaks. So. You say that to all the No, girls. it's, well, I mean, yes, no. You do. I know I don't. No, I don't. It was all about you. So, <laughs> so it's a pleasure to see you today. Thank you. How great was it for you to get back into, into the show? Surreal. Literally magical and surreal. And I'm, I'm still not sure that I'm believing it quite yet. Yeah. Talk to me maybe tomorrow morning. Did you always know it was possible? Was it something you were looking forward to or had you written it off? Or no, I, I, I thought all of these years and I would hear rumors and hopes from fans and I just always thought there's no way that you can uh, do that again. It's lightning in a bottle, yeah. you know. And uh, But then when David and Mark announced it and, and they announced it coming back to Showtime, that's when I was like, oh, that is how you can do it. You know, you, you don't have the restrictions that we once had with network television. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see David Lynch uh, without boundaries. Right, right, right. People are so excited about it. I mean, there's so much public excitement. What's it like for you just knowing that everyone's waiting? And they're going to be going over every frame of every episode. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I just said over there when I was talking to Facebook Live uh, people, I was like, just be prepared not to sleep for the next four months because you're going to be watching the show on Sundays and then you're going to be re-watching them and then you're going to be going back to the old episodes and trying to figure out what did that mean and so just you know just let family friends your boss know that you won't be seeing them for a while it's so groundbreaking in so many ways what will people experience now in terms of that? Is this something wholly new with elements of, of the world? Do you know what people can expect without giving them? You know, I don't really know. I know that you'll see uh, you'll see a lot of familiar faces and familiar locations. Um, and then other than that, I don't really know. I'm just waiting to see uh, the ride that David Lynch wants to take us on. I'm seeing your character this many years later and bringing her to life. What was that like for you? emotionally to be back in that skin. I, I, tr I tried, um, I made a decision, I wasn't sure if I was going to re-watch all of the episodes because it's been a long time yeah. since I've seen them. And last second I decided not to because I thought, you know what, Shelly's in there, she's ingrained in me, she's been there as a base. And uh, Shelly has matured 25 years as of I, and I was just going to take that forward. So that's what I decided. I can't wait. You're the only person on the picture. Do you mind if I get a shot? Yes! All right. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah, no, it's a good place to be. Yeah. Place to be. So talk about being being part of this world. Being part of it, it, it's an amazing thing. I never thought that I would see the day where I was going to be a part of the Twin Peaks lore legend. And when the phone rang, I think my agent had about half of the words out of his mouth, and I was like, yes, 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 yes. So it's it's really it's a really exciting. Just, just the excitement in general that people are feeling about this thing. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Really? Yeah. And just be at the, and you've been at the center of, of many wonderful, exciting 
TV news, you know what exciting projects can mean. And then, so you know when something's big, you know what, you know what that means. Oh, yeah. Definitely, please. Yeah, no, can I no. touch you, Colin? No, no. I'm so, I'm so this, happy for this, yeah. this guy, who's such an incredible human being. So happy he's in this. So. What, what can you, I know you can't tell us much, but just, just kind of the, the tone, the feel, what people can expect in a general sense. They can expect tone, they can expect feel. And, David Lynch at his best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's all exciting. It's all exciting. The fact that I'm here with Maureen McCormick and that we have two incredible spouses who are giving us a thumbs up and saying, go do the job. This is part of the job. But for me, if I had known Maureen back in the day, I would have asked her to prom. So tonight, she's my prom date. <laughs> That's right. Well, so are mine. Oh, so are mine. And how well is everything else going with you? Anything else you can tell us about in terms of everything that you have going on? Oh, great, great. Well, I've, I've got a movie coming out called The Neighborhood with Danny Aiello and um, Jean Carlo Giannini and Frank Pere, um Frank Nero, John Ashton. I mean, it was like a dream for me to be able to work with with those actors, Is yeah. Singing, doing, doing singing as well, musically? In the shower. <laughs> In the car, actually. Roll down the windows. You know, that's that's where I love to sing is in the car. Yeah. Well, nice to finally meet you. You too. Pleasure. Pleasure. Congratulations on everything. Okay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Wow, well, you're so tall. I am. Awesome. Let me make sure I'm not in your light. There you go. Okay. You look awesome. Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure. Pigtails or straight? Well, you did it right. Whatever you did. <laughs> so you're, for, for a lot of people, you're a big part of what Twin Peaks is, obviously. Do you feel that? Have you felt that over all these decades that you've been at the center of this? No. no. <laughs> I mean, I feel... Other, I have a lot of fans that are more like friends. Yeah. Because they're just so nice. and So I felt that. I felt love from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, Lucy and Andy, I've, they've always been my favorite. I mean, they're my favorite couple right, right, on right. TV. And for people that love that couple as much as you do, what, what can, without giving too much away, are they going to be satisfied with what they see? Maybe. <laughs> That's a fair answer. I am. How okay. about that? Okay. What do you hope people are talking about, thinking about Monday morning after seeing I hope it exceeds all expectations. That's what I hope. I think it might. As long as I don't say the wrong thing and get sent to Guantanamo between now and then. Yeah. <laughs> talking. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah. Of course. Jamie asked me to oh, take pictures of you. Hi there. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. I'm trying to. Yeah. We have to get a picture there. Hi, Hi sorry. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so, for you, this is a big deal because you're back with David, you're back with Kyle, and yet Twin Peaks is something new and different for you. Exactly. So, how special was all that? Amazing. Amazing. I know, for everyone, everyone has a different experience yeah. here. Some people are back again, uh, reinventing characters they, they knew deeply for years years and uh, for me it was yeah entirely new and yet I was with my family so it was amazing. Wow. The expectations are that we're going to see a lot of you. I don't know how much you can tell us. In terms of I have no idea. I keep asking. In fact David said to me have you read online you're in one episode and I said oh am I and he was like so so he's being cheeky with me too. It must be fun for you at this point in your career to have that mystery even for you. Oh, incredible, yeah. incredible. I mean, and, and it's funny in this this world of non-disclosure when you do get to work yeah. on things that are very protected and, and really not out of any uh, arrogance, but because you want, I mean, particularly for David, he wants the audience to have the joy of discovery. And um, but it's it's fun because we don't know what we're gonna get either. Yeah. It's really cool. And you've been part of some of those iconic Lynch moments and, and film moments, really in, in history. So what being back in that world? How how does this not to put pressure, but how does this like feel in terms of the the Lynch over? Um, amazing, <laughs> amazing. You know that. Showtime gave him the opportunity to have autonomy as he had the first time to explore and discover and create invention, which, you know, we, we since the 70s, we don't see often in cinema. 
and um, cable television has really given room for auteurs, which is really exciting for all of us, audience. Well, Lance, you've had, every year's been great for you, but this year seems exceptionally cool with Big Little Lies, and then you're ending the year with Star Wars. It's putting the world word 2017 for, for you. Amazing. I mean, amazing to do so many things and get to work with so many amazing people, but also the characters, which I can't talk about, um, are as diverse and, and radical as uh, the next one unfolding, and so that feels really fun because you wish for that your whole life as an actor. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Can't wait to see this. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, how you doing? Well, sure. We love Laurie hey. Anderson. Yeah, yeah, of course. Awesome. We'll talk about being back with Mr. Lynch. You've done some good work with him. Yeah, you know, he's one of those guys that any any time of the day, um, any time of the year, if he calls, you show up. Uh, he's he's an inspiration. He, he's a mentor. Uh, he's one of our great American artists and. Um, Anybody around him, whether it's actors or the crew, will do anything for David. Um, so you just you want to be around him as his energy is, is infectious. And um, he's so good at what he does that as an actor you feel like I'm, I'm yours 100%. Like, tell me what to do and I'll do it. Well, obviously he loves what you do to bring you back. This yeah, many, well, it is a good feeling. I mean, he, he keeps, uh, he, you know, he keeps a tight knit family around him yeah. with his actors and his his crews, and so it's yeah, it's it's an honor to be a part of it, and we all feel that way, you know. What can you, I can't say much, but what can you tell us about just the overall feeling of this one and how groundbreaking? How cool is it? Yeah, well, like the rest of us, um, so much of it is is shrouded in secrecy, so. Um, I can, all I can tell you is that, you know, he's, David's painting his world um, the way he does, and uh, it's going to be visceral, it's going to be, um, it's going to be funny at times, um, obviously eerie, and uh, all the things we love about David. All right, yeah. All right, man. Good talking to you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're kind of a tall drink of water, oh, are you? you? Nice to talk to a nice, nice tall Well, gentleman. yes, nice yeah. to be tall, yes, it How is. How tall are you? Uh, six foot four nearly. There you go. Yeah, you about six six? six I am. Okay, yes. Six, six and a half on a Oh, on yeah. A day. <laughs> yes, I never was that tall. But yeah. I'm shrinking. You are? But I'm not measuring myself because then I'll have to say what I honestly am. Oh, well. So six foot four. You, yes. look, you look nice and tall to me. Yes, thank you, sir. Being part of this, being part of this world, how cool is this? Oh, mind-boggling! My, uh, you just wanted to go to work every day. Yeah. It was like, okay, what's going to happen today? Who's going to be on? What's going to happen? Oh, yeah. So there are definitely some surprises. Lots of surprises, but of course we can't say anything about that. But yes, it was very nice. Uh, David Lynch is just phenomenal. He takes the time. He looks you in the eyes. He answers your questions. Right. He comes up with his own ideas, his own suggestions. And sometimes he sneaks a little piece of paper for a suggestion. Yes, wonderful. And you're, you look like the kind of guy that also would look him in the eye and tell him what, what, what's important to you. You seem like a straight And Yes, yourself. sir. And he would listen, too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indubitably. Now you mentioned come to work every day, which means you had more than one day's work. You've already told, oh, yes. me, more, you've already told me more than most. Oh, I'm going to get shot again. We can't have that. No. <laughs> shot again. Are you referring to the Ford Theater? No. Oh, oh, don't, don't remind me, okay? Well, no, not at all. Well. Yes, but no, it was wonderful. Yeah. Um, what are you working on now? What, 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 what's your life like these days? Oh, well, I buzz back and forth to New York. We're working on a, a uh, well, I don't know if I can even talk about that. Really? It kind of has to do with the moon <laughs> and steampunk. Okay. Whoa, yes, so that's that's been nice. Been okay. back and forth a few times already. Yeah, very good. Then I take a breather here and then head back. Nice life. Yes, it can't is. Wait, can't wait to see what you do in this one. Okay. Yeah. Good talking to you. To you. Yeah. Hello there. Hey, I'm Madeline. Adam, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good dog. All right. Talk about being part of this this world and how special this was for you. Um, well, I mean, you see all the people here. It's like such an honor to be included in a cast like this. I mean, I'm such a fan. Like, I'm looking at Laura Dern going like, oh, my God, I love her so much. And, um, I mean, it's just an honor. And when you're there... In that world, if you can put into words what the feeling was like after a day or so, and you're feeling, I'm really in, a, in Twin Peaks. I mean, when, when, whenever David like seemed like he liked something that I did, I just felt incredibly excited and honored. I felt like the sun was beaming right on my soul, so that was pretty great. How do you uh, think people are going to 
love this Rea the reaction to it Monday morning after seeing the first one have you thought about that there's so much excitement I mean yeah I mean I don't know I know that the fans are so excited and that there's this cult following that's just incredible um, and I think they're I mean I haven't seen it so it's going to be a total surprise to me as well but um, uh, I think they're going to be very pleased. Are you ready for that Twin Peaks cult following to kind of gravitate? Uh, is there a right way to answer that question? I mean, I think you're kind of like damned if you do, damned if you do. You can't really say yes. Like, yeah, I want that kind of attention. And you can't really say no. I would be honored to uh, attract any of the people who are, have a fan base and are fans of David the way I am. So. I think that's the right way to answer <laughs> Congratulations. So nice to meet you, Adam. Nice to meet you as well. Hey, Adam, good to see you. Super fun. How are you? It's been a minute since I've said hello to you. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's yeah. good to be here. What's it like being in this in this world? It's a little overwhelming. I, I like to look around and see who's actually in the show. Yeah. Because you have no idea. <laughs> so it's very secretive, and here we are, and now all the secrets are revealed. All right, tell me this. Do you recognize at least one person on the carpet that you work with? Um, you have to say no, no, yeah, one. The woman I was with was like, I've never been in a scene before, and it's the biggest scene in my life as an actor. Like, the most difficult scene I've ever had to do. And she's here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you think people are going to take away from this, feel from this, from this experience? The first one was so groundbreaking. It's so hard, because you don't know. I mean, it's all so secretive. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone on this red carpet right now is as excited as everyone out there is to find out what the show is. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens, how people receive it, and how it changes the world. Because David Lynch can do that. How neat is it to be part of something like that at this point in your career? Because you've been part of some cool projects over the years. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Look, I, I just said to my wife, it's like, we may never go to another premiere again. Let's enjoy this one. So, I mean, look, it's 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 different than the normal. Yeah. You know, there's a stigma on it. There's, like, expectation. There's excitement. And, you know, normal film, normal day, normal week, it doesn't have that. So it's fun. Good All right. Yeah. Good to see you. Congratulations. Yeah. How you doing? What's up, man? Good to see you. How are you? Good you to see such, you. You were such a big, cool part of the original. Ah, oh, thanks. Show. What, what was it like getting back into, into, the, into, the, into the clothes, the skin, just doing this again? Uh, it was a lot of fun, man. It was really great. It, it was uh, like no time had passed at all. It. it uh, I, I'm really excited for people to see what, what goes on and, um, you know, the whole thing going back into that world was just, you know, it felt really comfortable. It was like putting on an old pair of shoes and, yeah. and uh, having, being around everybody, being around all the, the same, you know, people that were involved and especially David and, and you know, it, it starting with him and trickling down all the people and how amazing he is and how amazing all the cast members and the, I mean, I, I just feel lucky. I honestly, I'm the luckiest guy here. I don't think I would have ever gotten in it if I had to audition again. I was lucky I was in it early, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh my God. I think every job I've ever gotten since then as as an actor has been because of this. Really. Now that it's real again, does it, does it, do you look back at the old one differently now? Has it become like a bigger part of your life all of a sudden because all the decades have passed and you're still... Well, it's interesting to revisit it, you know, because I, I hadn't been, you know, watching it, you know, nightly on, uh, on Netflix or anything. But, um, you know, it's fun to see it out there again. It's just bizarre. It's bizarre. It's, it's really strange. I can't even explain it. And knowing the fans are waiting to see your character, what you're doing, have you thought about that at all? They want to see what you're up to. I, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear what people say. So I'm excited to see their reaction for sure. Yeah. Hey, man. Good talking Thanks to you. so much. Nice talking to you. All right.
Hello. Pleasure. Thank you. I'm, I'm a, I enjoy your, your musical career as well. Thank you. Yeah, I, wanted to, I do have a music segment as well for extra, and I've talked to your publicist over the years. Um, or should I reach out to you socially? Yeah. Or yeah. I have a manager um, in Nashville, so they're handling all the press and all that stuff. Okay, good. I thought you are awesome, so I want to do Thank you. Talk about being part of this this world. This is crazy. I mean, I'm just excited to find out what it is I did when I filmed because it was all so secretive. The very first words out of David's mouth when I saw him were, I have a feeling you're going to ask me what it is you're doing, and I'm not going to tell you. So, yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea. I don't know if I'll be seen in these segments we're seeing tonight or next week or what. Honestly, I, I, that's the least thing I'm excited about. Is I, I'm more excited to see the show. I was a huge fan of the last one. And, and now that you're part of that Twin Peaks world forever, as a fan, what's that like for you? Um, well, I was in the original as well. Um, I, I, I mean, I think mostly everybody involved in it assumed it was over. Yeah. It was part of our past and it was incredible to be part of such a legendary bit of television and and now here it is and it's happening again and it's just so surprising uh, you know, knowing the fans and you know better than most of the fans that have stuck with the show for so long and now that that palpable excitement is that cool as an actress and is, it, is it scary as an actress knowing that everyone's going to be clinging to every word it, weirdly i'm I, I've, I mean, I would have told you two years ago it was very unusual, but in the last two years I have filmed Walking Dead, Supernatural, and this. And they all were non-disclosure agreements, and they're all shows with which the fans are obsessed in the best possible way. And I, I've been a fan of Walking Dead for so long as well, so... It's a strange thing to be part of something when people are, are as you said, hanging on every word. But it's like sometimes they figure out stuff you didn't even know. Like I wasn't necessarily thinking all the stuff they thought I was thinking when I made The Walking Dead, but now they think so. And I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it was subconscious or something. Fans of these kinds of shows are incredible. They're like a whole other cast in a way. They are a real part of it. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Can't wait to see what you did in, in the new version. Uh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah. Um, the two of them are strong together. And, uh, yeah, my finger. Well, this is a bit too much. I kind of see you doing it. But I think they've been doing it for a while. I've done it. I like having to ask if you want to do it. I really enjoyed myself. And it's a credit to the two of them. They've been something magical and amazing, mysterious, dramatic, and, and very funny. Um, and I cannot wait to see it. And I'm very proud of it. Because everyone's getting a B-roll of David. So David gets here. And then we'll have to see how we ask him to hold his door. More people are like you. Oh my god. <laughs> A bottle, a bottle of straw, and you know, we started. There's an Amber
Scenes. I have no idea where it's going from there. Yeah. All I know is it's going to be very interesting. And at this point in your career to be part of something so exciting that the whole world really is waiting to see must be a neat feeling. Oh, it's a wonderful way, you know. It's, it's very way before you, before you go down the drain. It's a marvelous way to spend a few days. Very good. Well, have fun tonight. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. It was on the carpet with Shirley, and, and you were in a different state than yeah. you are. Yeah. No, just, just, I was ready to pop. You're ready to pop. Just, just we'll get to that way first. Just how wonderful things have been since since then. Um, motherhood is the best. I, I I'm cr I'm crazy about my life. I'm crazy about my daughter. Yeah, it's pretty great. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. And being part of this, how magical is this world, and getting to being part of this. Ugh. I, uh, I I kept telling like the people I work with, you know, if they ever do anything with David Lynch, anything that I really want to do, everything I can to be a part of it, and um, and they finally did. In fact, I I actually um, just had a general meeting at Showtime when I found out it was happening, just to like kind of get in a little bit. Um, he's a uh, he is an idol, and his world is, we're all so lucky to live in it. He makes something so unique. Um, there's there's nobody like him, and uh, I can't believe I'm on the red carpet for Twin Peaks, because it's just too much of a dream. You do, you wouldn't think this would be this would be real, but what a mystery. I know nothing about it. And, Ex and no one does, and that's kind of, is that, that's yeah. the fun of it, and the it fans was, are really, really waiting to see what's going to happen. Is that fun for you as an actor? It's fun for me as an actor. It's fun for me as a fan. Um, when I um, when people are asking me about it, I, I there's nothing I can tell them. I can yeah. tell them who I worked with and what I did that day, but nothing nothing else. And I think that's kind of why, you know, we have there's no secret to tell because um, well, there is a secret to tell, but only like two people in the world know it. And lastly, having worked with David Lynch, how does that change you as an actor going forward? Oh man, I uh, I trusted. I learned to trust myself a little bit more with him. Um, it's it's weird. He uh, he has a way of directing that makes you feel so free, but you but a style that that f gives you parameters so you do feel kind of safe in his zone. It's really bizarre. Nothing I've never had an experience like it before. He's a magical being. He really. I mean, you know, we all know. Yeah. All well, you must be magical yourself, or he wouldn't have put uh, you in that world. Uh, uh, no, I don't know. Probably not. But you know, I yeah sure okay sure yeah I'm magical well, too. Good talking. To you. Um, thanks so much. Yeah, yeah have fun tonight. It's good yeah, to be here. Thanks.